Hello my fellow Vikings and welcome to another guide to Valheim. Ever find yourself spending hours chipping away at copper deposits only to get a meager haul? As every seasoned Viking knows, the true bounty lies hidden deep beneath the surface. Today I would like to share with you my preferred method to pop a deposit. It is efficient, explosive and way less grindy. To understand the technique better, a great way to gather stone is to break the pillars and the planes. Why? Because these already meet the necessary conditions for a successful pop. To pop a deposit, it needs to be free from any terrain, trees, rock, building structures and other game assets. It must be completely isolated. When you then break away the stone pillar from the terrain, it results in a big boom and a rain of resources. Copper is a bit trickier, as we must free it from the embrace of the earth. In short, to pop it, we need to clear the surrounding terrain. While this might look like a lot of work, mining terrain is much easier, especially if you do it right. Start by digging next to the deposit, going deeper until you hit bedrock, or in other words, the game's mining limit. Our final goal is to mine underneath the deposit. Spoiler alert, in all my time I have been playing Valheim, I never completely cleared terrain beneath a copper deposit. But I'll show you how to deal with that. After reaching the terrain's hard limit, you can now clear the terrain around the deposit. The advantage is that when you mine from that depth, you clear away all the terrain above it as well in one hit, instead of having to dig every layer of terrain away. My aim is to maintain a 2 meter distance between the deposits and the terrain walls, preferably more. This will increase your chances of a successful pop. And you see these sharp edges I create while mining? This has the added advantage that most mobs and enemies will not be able to get to you. This of course is not a guarantee, as sometimes a group of great dwarves pushes each other down. Or sometimes an attack animation makes the enemy move forward and fall in but it definitely will slow the amount of attacks you get. Apart from clearing away the terrain, we also want to remove all the other assets touching or near your copper deposits. So chop down trees and their stumps, clear rocks and logs and so on. Another thing you should be aware of is that if two deposits merge into each other, they also will keep each other from popping. Therefore, I prefer to look for deposits free from others. But in the off chance they do connect, I break the connection between the two deposits, so I can at least pop the major part of it. Now, as mentioned before, I never managed to completely clear a copper deposit away from the terrain. So the only choice you have is to start picking away the bottom layer of the copper, and with that also remove the remaining terrain that is merged into it. Once you have cleared away the copper and terrain that connect with the floor, you can now use the hoe and try to lower the terrain a little more. Sometimes this even makes some little copper shards appear. You also want to remove extra assets that might have shown up after clearing away the central terrain. For example, these trees. Before you try and pop the deposit, have another inspection round and see if the terrain is far enough away. And be sure to remove any structures you might have built nearby. Once you are happy, you can start picking away at the lowest sections of the copper deposit. Just start with the piece lowest to the terrain and move on to the next one until at a certain point the copper is far enough from anything to pop. This will break the remaining deposit and rocks and ores easy to just pick up. In my experience, this technique gets the deposit to explode 7 out of 10 times. And most of the time when it does not happen, it is because I missed checking one of the conditions, or because there was something remaining, like a piece of rock, inside the deposit. In the end, even if it did not pop, you still should have a very nice haul of copper and even a really good supply of stone as well. You can also use this technique for popping silver, and of course, as the deposit is much smaller, it is also much easier to get it done. And apart from that, the holes I dug for the silver are also a perfect trap for taming two star wolves later. I hope this guide helped you understand the mechanics behind it and this technique can be of use to you. If you enjoyed this guide, please hit that thumbs up and I will see you again next time. Peel bum out.